Bienvenidos, bienvenidos a Heathcote, welcome to Heathcote and bienvenidos a Español, welcome to Spanish, ok? Soy... Ok, soy la señora Watson, ok? Every time that you hear the word soy, ok, means I am, ok? I am, soy la señora Watson. And when you see this question, y tú, ok? Y tú, right? They're asking you and you, ok? Can you see the difference here, ok? In English you have one question mark, in Spanish you have two, ok? So we will start seeing some differences here. Okay, so we're going to for this session we're going to be introducing ourselves. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of numbers. Okay, giving some personal information and talking about Spanish in, as I'm speaking uh, in the different countries. Okay, uh, where they are spoken. Right. So, ¿Cómo te llamas? Okay. Every time that you hear that question, they are asking you for your name. ¿Cómo te llamas? Okay. And I say, me llamo. Me llamo. Okay? Can you notice, can you hear that double L, okay, that double L in Spanish is not la, okay, it's ya, like yes, okay? Como te llamas? Me llamo Andrea, okay? Va. Vamos a verlo, we're going to see this in a conversation, okay? So we're going to introduce ourselves, right? So in your conversation you have, hola, como te llamas? Okay? And then you answer, me llamo, okay? You give your name, and then you can ask as well, y tú, okay? Y tú, right? Okay, then you say your name, me llamo, okay? That's what we, you will hear from the other person, right? And then, okay, you can see these people shaking hands, okay? We usually use the word, mucho gusto, to say, nice to meet you, okay? And... You can say the same, nice to meet you, which is a very standard way of saying, pleased to meet you. Or you can also say, hola, hi, hello, okay? Right, so we are going to practice this conversation and this opportunity, Mr. Gallagher, is going to help me, okay? So I'm going to be asking him, right? So I said, I say, hola, ¿cómo te llamas? Me llamo Mr. Gallagher. Ah. Oh. Y tú? Okay, so, me llamo... Señora Watson, ¿ok? O me llamo Andrea, ¿sí? Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. ¡Bravo! ¿Ok? Y you can practice that one as well. Va. Now, we keep re uh, remembering, ¿ok? That when we say my name is, is me llamo. ¿Ok? Double L, ya. Yeah, ¿Ok? Me llamo Ed. Me llamo Emma. ¿Ok? And then, now we have, can you see all these people? Do you recognize all of them? Do you know who they are? Well, let's see, okay? Have a look at all of them and we are going to practice. I will be asking, okay? So we're going to pretend you are going to be these people, okay? And you will be answering, okay? How you say, my name is, okay? And again, Mr. Gallagher is going to help me with this, right? So I will be asking and you keep doing this at home, yes? Right. So, if I ask you, what's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Ronaldo. Fantástico, ¿ok? Me llamo Ronaldo, me llamo Cristiano Ronaldo, ¿sí? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Messi. Excelente, me llamo Lionel Messi, ¿sí? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Theresa May. Muy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Donald Trump. Fantástico. Me llamo Donald Trump. Muy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Shakira. Sí, Shakira, famous Colombian singer. ¿Ok? And, ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Ariana Grande. Excelente. Muy bien. Gracias, Mr. Gallagher. ¿Ok? So have the way to say my name is. ¿Ok? And you can start asking as well. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at this. ¿Ok? So we have almost 600 million. Uh, Spanish speakers in the world, okay, so Spanish is growing and growing, okay, very fast, okay, and let's see, do you know how many countries have Spanish as their official language, okay, so let's have a look at this, we have some options, yeah, so when we say countries, okay, in Spanish we call them países, okay, so what do you think, is it cinco países, okay, do you think it's dieciséis países, okay, 
could be 21 países, okay? Or maybe 30 países. What do you think? How many countries have Spanish as their official language? Hmm? 21 países. 21 countries have the Spanish as their official language. Okay? So, when you see this is Spain, and that means that if you hear someone speaking Spanish, okay, it's not necessarily that a person who comes from Spain, okay? So, like me, yeah? So, apart from Spain, we have so many other countries, okay? So, if you look at all the countries in color, okay? So, we have, for example, we have Spain here in Europe, yeah? And then, if we move to this side, okay, we have the Americas, okay? We have South America, and in South America, lots of countries have Spanish as their official language, okay? If you move to Central America, the Caribbean, Cuba, Republica Dominicana, Puerto Rico, etc., okay? And if you go to North America, you also have Mexico, okay? Another place where they speak Spanish, okay? So you can see, and apart from... Ah, and the other thing is that we call this South America, okay? And people sometimes wonder, what is Latin America then? Latin America is all the countries that speak Spanish, okay? So it's not only South America, it's also Central America and part of North America. So all of this is Latin America, okay? So there's a difference between Latin America and South America, yeah? And also, if we move to Africa, okay, we have them as well Guinea Equatorial. So you see, there are so many countries that speak Spanish, okay? So it's a little bit just uh, for you to know that we come from different places, yes? And we speak Spanish, yeah? I come from Peru, for example, right? Right here. Okay, so it's a little bit of information about countries, okay? So, uh, and what is uh, more, okay? So this is the population um, in Spain, okay? 40, almost 47 million, right? But also, if you think about how many people speak Spanish now in the United States, okay, so look at the amount, the number, okay, so it's, it's even bigger than the population in Spain, okay, so Spanish is really going, going bigger everywhere, okay? So, a little bit of that information, let's go for a quiz, okay? So, let's have a look at this, the futbolista Lionel Messi, where is he from? Is the España? Is it Mexico, Chile, or Argentina? What do you think? Hmm? Sir, do you know what he's from? D. D. Sir says D. Okay? So, sí, muy bien. Okay? So, Lionel Messi es de Argentina. Is from Argentina. Okay? Muy bien. Okay. La cantante Shakira es de España, Perú, Colombia, o Ecuador. I told you before, huh? If you paid attention, you will remember where she was from, okay? Do you remember, sir? Sí. Si. Sí? Si? Oh, sir was paying attention, yes! Okay, Shakira is from Colombia, okay? Muy bien. Right. And then we have, ah, ¿Cómo se llama? What's the name of this dish? Very famous dish. ¿Cómo se llama? Okay, so we have churros, tacos, gazpacho o paella. Mm. What do we think? Sir, any idea? D. D. Sir thinks it's D. Paella. Muy bien. Sir is right. Okay? Correcto. Paella. Typical rice dish in Spain. Okay? From Spain. Right. And then we have... ¿Cómo se llama? Look at this dance. Have you ever seen this dance before? Is it called salsa, tango, flamenco, or reggaeton? Hmm? ¿Cómo se llama? Sir, any idea? I guess. A. Eh? A. Salsa. Let's see. It's not salsa. This one is called tango, okay? And it's popular from Argentina. Se baila en Argentina, okay? I had a little bit of music, but now I think it might be a little bit difficult to play it. So when you are in a lesson, we will listen to and we will watch a video as well, okay? Right. So we have the next one. Okay, so. La marinera, okay, is un da, es un baile, okay, that it comes, is typical from Mexico, Peru, España, or Venezuela. Hmm. I will have with us, okay? It's typical de Peru, okay? 
La marinera se baila en Perú. Right? And then for the last one, ¿cómo se llama este baile? Okay? Salsa, merengue, reggaeton o flamenco. ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? Hmm? So I'm sure you know them. Are you sure? No? No, I don't know. No problem, okay? And that's another that we, that we will be seeing in class, okay? Es el flamenco y se baila en España. Okay? Va, muy bien. Right. Okay? So we're going to practice a little bit of numbers, okay? Right. For los, los números, okay? So, escuchar, okay? And you can, uh, you can practice at home, okay? So, we have uno, okay? And I'll start here, okay? You can see them. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, 9, 10, 11, we pronounce everything there, yeah? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and this is the vein number, 20. Ok, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, I've chosen 31 just to cover the, uh, the, the days, the numbers in, in a month. So, okay, in a month. Okay, so you can see all these 20s are the vein numbers. Okay, vein, 21, 22, etc. Okay, right, and we pronounce almost everything. Yeah, 16, 17, etc. etc. Okay, right, so how are we going to use the numbers? We're going to practice a little bit. Okay with numbers, okay, so what we are going to do is matemáticas, okay, matemáticas, right, and for matemáticas, we are going to use these symbols, okay, we are going to use más, menos, por, y entre, okay, right, so we are going to use only these numbers, so don't worry, okay, so let's have a look at this, how are we going to use them, we are going to practice numbers by a little bit of these operations, okay? So, we have seis, so I spot seis, okay? And then we have mas, okay? And then we have diez, so seis mas diez, okay? Igual, so can you spot the answer here? What would be seis mas diez? Where is diez here? Diez. Okay, igual means equals. Okay, equals. Yeah. So, sir, have you have you spotted the answer for this one? Seis más diez. Yeah. Six plus okay. ten. Yes. What number is that? Sixteen. How do we say sixteen? Let's try. That's a hard number. <laughs> okay. So I say that one, and you go for the next one. Okay. That one is sixteen. So I say sixteen. Okay. Diez. C says, okay? The C says. Shall we try with another one? How about this one? Okay? Right. So we have cuatro más veinte. Okay? Cuatro más veinte. Igual. Okay? So, say, cuatro más veinte. Vente cuatro. Fantástico, muy bien, muy bien. Ok, so cuatro más veinte igual veinticuatro. Sí, muy bien. Ok, sigamos. Ok, so treinta menos. Ah, we change now. Menos, ok, treinta menos quince. Ok, treinta menos quince igual 
30 menos 15 igual 0. 30 menos 15. 15. 15, muy bien, es 15. Sí, excelente, 15. Ok, vamos, ok. And you need to be doing this, ¿ah? Huh? Ok, so we have 5 por, ok. 5 por 5, 5 por 5, ok. 5 por 5 igual, o sea, 5 por 5. 5 por 5 igual. Now, well, let's see, where is it? Where is it? 5 por 5. Did you get one? Yes, did you get that one? Yes, sir, did you get that one? 25. Muy bien, sir. Ok, so 25. 5 por 5 igual 25. Ok, and let's do one more. Ok, right, for the last one, we have. 18, ok, so 18, ok, entre, ok, 18 entre 3, 18 entre 3, ok, 18 entre 3, hmm. igual, está llenado, 18, 6, 6, muy seis. bien, sí, 6, fantástico, yeah, muy bien, gracias señor Gallagher, ok, so he's really helped a lot here, ok, and I hope you have been doing that as well, ok, right, so, with numbers, when we use numbers, we can talk about the age, ok, so if you know your numbers, you can say how old you are, ok, so how do I say that, tengo, and then you add the number, ok, so tengo 12 años, for example, ok, so I am 12 years old, tengo 12 años, ok? With numbers, ok? You can also give, uh, talk about your birthday, yeah? So, mi cumpleaños es el, and I'm going to bring the months as well so that we can do this, ok? So, for example, I'm going to tell my birthday, ok? So, my birthday is the 21st, ok? 21st is 21, ok? So, I would say, mi cumpleaños es el 21 de okay, enero. Okay? It's the 21st of January. 21 de enero. Okay? So if you know some elements, you can make really nice phrases. Okay? You can introduce yourself. You can talk about your age. You can talk about your birthday. Right? Every time that you see this N with a little wave, it means that there is a ñ sound here, okay? So it's not no, it's ño. So I don't say años, I say años, okay? Cumple años, okay? Sometimes I exaggerate a little bit only when I'm starting, okay? But then when you get used to it, you don't need to do años, okay? You say años, okay? Right. Um, so, I can introduce myself. This is the session for today. <coughs> Hola, I can tell my name. Hola, me llamo Señora Watson, me llamo Andrea. Okay? You can tell your age as well. I'm going to choose one of those numbers. So I will say, tengo 20 años. Okay? 20 años. Right? Uh, I can talk about my birthday. Okay? If I know the months of the year, okay? You add the number. And you can say, mi cumpleaños es el 5 de julio, for example, ok, 5th of July, 5 de julio, ok, and, and there you are, julio, I chose julio, ok, and I chose 5, so I can say 5th of July, ok, 5 de julio, right, and also, okay, as we start doing more things, you can give more details about the things, I mean, about yourself, okay? You can talk about the things that, that you like, for example, okay? And every time that we say, I like, I will say, me gusta, okay? Me gusta. And if I want to say, I don't like, I just put the no in front. I say, no me gusta, okay? So, once we learn some of this vocabulary, let me show you how to say some of these activities and I'll give you some examples. Right, so... There we are, okay? 
So, for example, if I want to say I like riding a bike, okay, I will say me gusta montar en bici. Okay, así, right? I will say I like sleeping. Me gusta dormir. Okay? I like dancing. Me gusta bailar. Okay? So you can talk about activities that you like. Okay? You can talk about activities you don't like. Okay? You don't like, for example, let's say, I don't like running. I find it hard. Okay? I can do it, but it's not my cup of tea. Okay? So I can say, no me gusta correr. Okay? No me gusta correr. Okay? Or maybe I don't like singing. Okay? No me gusta cantar. And then you start adding more and more details about yourself. Okay? So, again, so, hola, me llamo señora Watson, tengo 20 años, mi cumpleaños es el 21 de enero, um, me gusta bailar, ok? y viajar, which is traveling, ok, pero, but, no me gusta correr, ok, so I'm giving you a little bit of introduction about myself, and you can do the same, ok, and, that's it, ok, so he says, muchas gracias, thank you very much, ok, and see you soon, hasta pronto, ok, we are looking forward to seeing you all soon, ok, adiós.